originally said I was going to start uploading regularly. I am, I'm with you on that. If you're sitting there thinking, Kinsey, it's been like three months since you uploaded. <laughs> and you're correct. And I had every intention of being honest with you guys and having those weekly videos like I wanted to. It was, if you're into that kind of thing, like a New Year's resolution. And then the uh, card reader in my laptop broke. I'm, I'm not really sure what happened, what caused that, but here we are all these months later because it took me this long to realize that there's such a thing as an external SD card reader that you can get. So, once I figured that out and saw that they're pretty cheap, I went down to the store and got me one of those, and we are together again. Hello! Now that it's summertime, I don't have classes going on, I am still working, I do still have to practice, but between those two important things, I still have a lot of free time, and rather than just spend that time playing video games, which, if you guys played the new Dark Souls yet, talk to me about it. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I have a lot of free time now that I can make videos with, and I intend to do that. I really just want to get back into learning about animals together, and I'm ready to start that today. Today's video is all about this guy right here. This is Lenka, who is my gargoyle gecko. Now, gargoyle geckos are very, very similar to crested geckos. Now, I have my hand up here like this because these guys are jumpers. <laughs> I have to be ready to catch him. I'll probably miss him. He's gonna jump like 20 times in this video, so I'm ready. Now, these little guys, as I've seen, are related to crested geckos, so if you have a crested gecko or really know anything about them, they have a few key traits. They're fairly small arboreal geckos, and they have these prehensile tails. See how you can kind of hang on to me like that? Now, one of the main differences between the two comes from their tails. Now, crested geckos, when they drop their tails in fear or whatever it is, their tail will not grow back. It is honestly pretty rare to see a crested gecko as an adult with its tail. Now, gargoyle geckos can drop their tails as well. Most gecko species can. However, they will grow back. Lanka here has never dropped his tail, but if he did, it would grow back and look pretty much exactly the same as it does now. Another feature that they share are their really grippy little feet. They use those so they can climb. Now, crested geckos have a bit grippier of feet, so they can kind of climb glass and stuff. These guys can't do that as much. They can still hold on really well with them, but it's not quite the same level of, like, I'm a suction cup. In terms of care, these guys are pretty simple. Uh, they need higher humidity, but their temperatures are pretty much the same as room temperature. So if you keep them between like 70 to 80 degrees, they'll be great. Another awesome thing about gargoyle geckos is they don't necessarily need any light. They don't need a UVB bulb, they don't need a basking spot, anything like that. You can provide a light for them so you can kind of see them better if you want, but it is completely optional. They, as I said, are arboreal, so they need a lot to climb on. They also can be very shy and secretive. I mean, look, he, he is not that big. So another essential for a setup for them is having a lot of cover for them to kind of hide behind. All right, so we're gonna take a trip now over to see what his enclosure is like. I will say now that it is a bit on the small side. I made it bioactive, so that took up a lot of height for the ground, and that made it a little smaller. The size that it's at right now is fine for like a hatchling up until about a year old. Lenka here is coming up on a year, and he will need a bigger enclosure going forward. A minimum, I would say, for an adult gargoyle would be about a 20 gallon fish tank, but turned upright. But I'm saying that as a minimum. These guys, like I said, love to climb. And so the more climbing they can do, hi buddy, the more climbing that they can do, the happier they will be, the healthier they will be. So if you're interested in getting a gargoyle gecko or a crested gecko, definitely have height in mind rather than width. They don't really need much space side to side. Let's go check out Lenka's enclosure now. I now introduce to you, in all of its glory, the gargoyle gecko setup. 
Like I said earlier, a light is optional. This one actually is uh, burnt out, the bulb is, and I haven't replaced it simply because, like I said, you, you don't really need it, but it's just a nice little dome light that I could have just a daylight bulb going in. So we move in, and let me lean back a bit. So you can see I have some different decorations going on. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can see better inside. Starting from the top, you can see I have a few different ledges up here. These are magnetic, so that's what's holding them up. So Lenka can jump up here if he wants to. This has like a built-in food dish section, but I don't use it because it's hard to clean. His favorite part has to be all of these fake vine leaves I have here. He loves to just get in there and hide. Moving down, you can see I have this pretty good piece of cork bark. He'll climb up the back of it sometimes. He'll also climb up like back in the leaves up this and kind of chill out on there. I also have this aloe plant. This is a live plant here. I use the, the goo from it for like scrapes and burns kind of thing, but I keep it in there because it helps with the humidity and he also just likes to climb on it. Now right here, which is very gross, is his food dish. We'll talk about diet in a bit after this little overview. In terms of substrate, I have a mixture of sphagnum moss and I can't remember, it's like Repta Earth or something like that. And I have probably like two and a half, three inches of that. And so that really helps keep the moisture in and it keeps him at the right humidity. For food, these guys have a liquid diet essentially. Like you saw the crusty food dish that is the dried version of his food that he didn't eat all of. You can get a few different kinds of meal powder, but you have to make sure that it's a complete diet. I use both Pangea and Rapashi for him, and I just kind of mix them together and give him a rotation of it so he has a varied diet. Like pretty much all reptiles, except for snakes, that kind of thing, the more varied the diet can be, the happier they'll be, the healthier they can be. They can get by on eating one thing. Like, he could eat just one powder all the time, but that would be boring. Would you want to eat, I don't know, pasta, spaghetti, specifically spaghetti with the same kind of sauce, same cook and everything? Would you want to eat that for every meal? No. <laughs> So if you can give a variety, I always think that you should. You can also toss in a few live insects. He's just not really that interested in them. I've spoken to a few other gargoyle gecko keepers and theirs really aren't either, but in the wild they would eat live insects as well as just any kind of mushy fruit, that kind of thing. For temperament, these guys are really relaxed. They can be a bit jumpy even if you handle them very frequently. They just will get scared. They're small, again. <laughs> But for the most part, they'll just hang out on you. They might jump around. They might want to sit on your shirt. Just kind of whatever they feel comfortable doing, they're going to do. There are some people who say that gargoyle geckos are meaner than crested geckos. I don't necessarily agree with that. I've taken care of both, and I don't really notice a difference in the two in terms of that. So it really comes down to what you want them to look like, what coloration you're interested in, and I guess the tail thing, but other than that their care is identical. In order to keep humidity up, I spray him a few times throughout the day and then at night I give him a good misting. Uh, that's really about it to keep the humidity up because I have the live plant in there and the soil mixture I have does a really good job of that, but you can get a mister system or like a dripper, some of them will like that. They drink water off of, you know, the plants or whatever that's in there. They drink the droplets. They won't really drink out of a dish. So you don't have to worry about a water dish being in there. I feed him every other day in that little dish I showed you. And like I said, I rotate through which powder I give him. Sometimes I mix them together. But other than that, <laughs> They're really simple. If you're looking for a good starter reptile, if you've never owned a reptile before, or any like higher maintenance pet, these guys in Crested Geckos are probably the first I would go to because they are really relaxed, they don't eat every day, they don't require a heat source, the only thing you have to do is miss them every day, and that's that's about it. They're, they're very simple. All right, you guys, I don't really have anything else to say about these guys. I think they're amazing little creatures. 
If you have any questions about them and their care, if I skipped over something that you're really hoping I'd answer, just leave it down below in the comment section and I will respond to that as fast as I can. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you like me and you like my content, be sure to subscribe. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm really going to be dedicated to being more consistent with my uploads. I still am pretty active on social media. You can add me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. I have two Instagrams, one for me and one for my pets. So if you want to see more of me and like my day-to-day -day activities, you can follow that one. If you want to see just the pets, you can follow that one. You won't ever see my face on there. It's like I don't even exist. It's the pets that run the account, not me. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye!